Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome to Four Better. We're going to be talking about marriage and family tonight, and uh, we're Lauren and Joy Hershey coming to you from Dubuque, Iowa, and so glad that you're joining in with us. And uh, we've been at this for several weeks now, <laughs> we sharing with you guys some things that will help. And uh, let us ask you again one more time as you tune in, go ahead and share and like and help us get the word out. Hi, Mary and Randy. Thank you for, thank you for joining us. Thanks Hello to you, too. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. It. Yeah. It's nice to know we're talking to somebody. It sure is. <laughs> Hi, um, Mary. WHO Radio used to say, border to, coast to coast, border to border, and then some. <laughs> and so, yeah, with the wonders of Facebook, it was all over the world. So thank you for starting your watch parties and, and chatting it up and helping us to get the word out. Yes. Hey, as people are joining in, there's a really monumental day. Well, maybe not monumental, <laughs> but uh, a day to be spoken of tomorrow. What's happening tomorrow? Tomorrow is Mickey Mouse's birthday. Hey! Hey! I know you were Everybody wondering that. get up and do the hot dog dance <laughs> right now. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Hey, yeah, it's Mickey Mouse's birthday. Uh, officially, uh, he debuted in 1928. Wow. Yeah, so he's been around a while. Of course, several different drawings and stuff. Hi, Nicey. Glad you guys are with us. Yeah. Yes. And uh, Mickey Mouse Club and all that sort of thing. Yes. My man. goodness. Uh, Quite an enterprise. I'm trying to think of what the guys, the, the two guys, something in Shorty or something like that that was part of Mickey Mouse Club. Really, Mickey mm -hmm. Mouse Club was kind of reruns even when I was a kid. Well... I, it went on and on. They kept producing more and more and more. That's of true. Them. So even when our kids were teenagers or young, not even teenagers, tweens maybe, they were still making, you know, the new Mickey Mouse Club and things yeah. like that. They're always raising up new singers. and. I guess that's people. true. They've gone real digital. Now it's almost a cartoon. And we came across the top 10 uh, birthday cake flavors. Uh, so guess anybody, what number one guess is? Guess what number one. Hi, Nicole. So what do you think the number one flavor of birthday cake is? And uh, so you can go out and celebrate Mickey's birthday tomorrow <laughs> in style. I'll be there. Nicey's coming in for cake. No, she said hi there. <laughs> oh, hi. I thought she said she'd be there. Hi there, Nicey. And uh, okay, we're waiting. Drum roll. Waiting for you to waiting guess the number guess one number flavor one. of birthday cake. Yeah, not your favorite. Just type it in the chat. Just number one. Yeah, just type it right there in the chat. Yeah. Can wait just a moment. So one of the birthday cakes when I was growing up, what we always had was angel food cake. And I always thought maybe it was because one of my grandmas, uh, she raised chickens, and so she had a lot of eggs. And angel food cake takes like a dozen yeah. eggs. The whites, just the whites. I always thought it was because of confetti cake. Oh, you think that's number one. <laughs> uh, Nicole thinks it's chocolate. And the winner is... <laughs> Nicole! Ding, 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 ding. That's the a winner number is one. chocolate. Number one all time. Yeah, number one all Chocolate's time flavor. number one flavor of cake. Number two is cheesecake. Always a winner. Always I think number three was chocolate chip or something like that. Yeah. I think lemon was number 10. Yeah, it was down, down the list. at the bottom. Um, Angel German food didn't chocolate, even... yum. Yes. That sounds good. I love coconut, so the frosting that goes on top of the pecans and the coconut. Oh. We learned from yeah. Sean and Kirsten while they were living in Germany that Germans, <laughs> German chocolate cake did not originate. It's not German. It's not German. <laughs> I don't know why they don't even know why it's called that yeah. but it, it's not yeah. uh angel food cake didn't even make the top 10. i know Along which with we trust, that all the time Tres leche didn't make the top 10. no so man red velvet was in them. yeah 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 so. so as you go out and celebrate <laughs> mickey's birthday tomorrow uh enjoy your cake <laughs> hey we had something really cool happen uh just today we were talking uh, about, we were both really busy today at work yeah. and uh, came home and we were talking about, uh, I was over getting ready to for our sharing tonight and we started to talk about what we're gonna share about and uh, I shared with Joy what 
what I was working on, she said that was exactly what was on her heart. Isn't that cool? <laughs> that that the Lord knew. And so yeah. he's got something for us to share with you tonight. He so does. as we get ready to, to talk about that stuff and minister to your hearts and bring that word of the Lord to you, let's pray. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, thank you for our time together tonight. Thank you for opening our hearts and pouring out through us into their hearts. Thank you for helping us all receive and be blessed. And you be glorified, Lord. In your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Amen. So what's on your heart this morning? Okay. So we were thinking about, uh, we just really had on our hearts to talk to you guys about being thankful for yeah. your spouse. Yep. Uh, or the people in your life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, every relationship goes through ups and downs and little things sometimes can get to you and yeah. sometimes they're bigger things yeah. that happen, uh, little spats and little discussions, little things happen and uh, things can get in the way of the bliss yeah. of relationships <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> and bliss. so what do you do, you know, because if you're not careful, your mind can get on a negative track. Yeah. And of course we have an enemy who pushes that and anoints that. But uh, we also have a great God who doesn't yeah. want us to go that direction. He doesn't want us to get on the negative train and start thinking of all the, and, and they're this, and they're that, all the negatives. But he wants us to stay on the positive and has given us his word and the wisdom of his word uh, to help us to overcome and to come through those situations and to stay on top. Yeah, to and your emotions can really get involved when some of those things happen. And, and I think depending on how, how you're wired as an individual, some yeah. folks are more prone to just to get over and something happens, our emotions get stirred up and we get stuck in a cycle of yeah. emotional feelings, just rehearsing it over and over and man, it just, and we need something to lift us up right. out of that, to break out of that. Because the kingdom of God is not melancholy. The kingdom <laughs> of God is full of righteousness, peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And, uh, the Holy Spirit really will lift us up out of those melancholy, molly grubs, mad, you know, all that kind of stuff. He will. He will. We don't want to get stuck in. We just don't want to get stuck yeah. there. And so God's given us an answer, and that is to be thankful. Start yeah. to be thankful and start to think of things that you're thankful for about the people in your life, and especially your spouse, because it seems like, Sometimes that's the toughest. We have the most uh, interactions with our spouse, yeah. uh, but also any relationship that's a work for. So when you start to be thankful for the things uh, about your spouse, you start to appreciate them more. And you, those feelings of love start to be rekindled within yeah. you. The thoughts, the feelings of appreciation uh, start to rekindle in you. And that's a wonderful beautiful place yeah. to be and we should learn to live there <laughs> it's like you with uh when you grab hold of your thoughts and you and you you it's like you reach down into a well and and you bring something wonderful up out of it i'm in, in lamentations chapter 3 verse 21 the they were in a really sad time but the the prophet jeremiah said this he said this i recall to mind therefore i have hope it's and he went on to talk about the fact that it's of the Lord's mercies that we're not consumed, yeah, and, and all the wonderful things about the Lord and what He does for us. Mm -hmm. But that verse, this I recall to mind, or this I remember, this I call to mind, therefore I have hope. So, in other words, by recalling the right things, mm -hmm. by remembering the right things, it actually caused hope to spring up in Him, it lifted yeah. Him into a hopeful place rather cool. than a defeated place. Yeah, that's really yeah. cool. I had this scripture on my heart about this subject. Oops, let me find it. I took a screenshot of it, so <laughs> I have it here. Okay, it said, oh, this is in Philippians uh, chapter two, chapter two. It's uh, verse eight, it says, now dear brothers and sisters, one final thing, fix your thoughts on what is true and honorable and right and pure, and lovely, and admirable. Yeah. Think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Now, I know when I get kind of in a mood or I get discouraged, 
I can always trace it back to what I'm thinking about. Wow. If, you know, when I start to think, you know, um, like you were just saying, hope in God, like when I start to feel hopeless, like God, you know, when are you ever going to blah, 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 you know, wow. do this or that? When are we going to get done with this pandemic? You know, when can we stop wearing when? masks? When's this going to turn around? You know, yeah. and I will, you start thinking, I'm so tired of wearing masks. I'm so tired of all the, yeah. you know, all of the things that are going on. You start thinking like that and you get discouraged and you get down in the mully grubs. So we have to get a hold of our thoughts and think about things that are excellent and worthy of praise. And when we start to do that, it lifts us up out of that. And so tonight, as we're talking about being thankful for yeah. our spouse, why don't you start posting in the chat line there, hey, there some things that, uh, everybody just do one thing, I guess, to begin with, but something that you're thankful for about your spouse. You know, Thanksgiving is coming up. Man, yeah. this is good. Good practice, good timing, man. Wait, yeah. Yay, God, way to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, to help us, yeah. Let's be thankful. Yeah. Be thankful. You know, I I know this might, by the way, that not to embarrass anybody, that's Philippians 4. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah. Philippians 4. But you know, one, one thing. <laughs> I am <Nine>. so. <laughs> I am so. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, man, I am. I'm thankful for her wit. You know, I really am. I tell you, I. Uh, fall in love with her all the time over and over again as I see her in conversations and just just keeping up with people and uh, and comments and stuff like that it's so attractive to me and uh, I just love it I just love it I'm thankful for that Aww, I'm thanks, thankful honey. for that thanks, honey. Uh, she's patient with you ah, Randy that's a good one yeah that is so excellent Michael she said I'm thankful patient. that Nicey puts up with me <laughs> <laughs> Kudos to you, Nicey. She does. <laughs> I'm glad she does, too. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah. One of the Amen. things I'm thankful for, I made a little list here. Uh, one of the things I'm thankful for is the way that my husband treats me. Like, he treats me well. He opens the car door for me, or he, you know, doesn't expect me to carry the heavy stuff. Like, he always honors me in that way as the weaker vessel and not that I can't carry some yeah. things, but if he's available, he always makes sure to be helpful to me, help me with the hard stuff, and treats me well. I really appreciate that. Wow, you're welcome, babe. <laughs> cool. That's, um, you know, uh, a while back, I I got a whole list here. I know but you do. I want you guys to yeah. keep posting yeah, and please. post some specifics. How about um, you ladies? What are you thankful for for that? Man of God of yours. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, you know, I came home a while back and you guys saw it on Facebook. There was a fresh baked apple pie. Sitting <laughs> on the counter. I am thankful for, for your cooking. I'm thankful for the way she turns our house into a home. And you guys can't see, but we're, we're getting decorated for Christmas. It's really pretty you around here. You can see here. some lights back there. Yeah, on the mantle. <laughs> some there's a few some Christmas lights. Few Christmas lights back there. Yeah. But you know, just uh, I'm thankful for the. I, we have a we have magic going on in our house. Uh, I wear clothes. <laughs> they get they get soiled. And next thing I know, I open my dresser drawers and bam, they're in there folded, <laughs> clean, right back there. And I'm thankful for the way she takes care of me. Wow. With that. How about you girls? How about you girls? Mary, what are you thankful for Do about Do some more Jean? posting. Yep, yep, Here's yep. Here's something else I'm thankful for about my husband. He's generous. He's generous. In a lot of ways, you know, yeah. but um, just generous with people and generous like if I say, well, you know, I don't know if I want this or that. Some He's often, he'll say, just get both. That's kind of spoiled that way. <laughs> Michael is saying, I'm thankful for Nicey's tender soul. She is a sweetheart. Yes, she That's is. Awesome. That is beautiful. Yeah. She's a beautiful person. We appreciate her. What a gift. Yeah. What a gift. And you know, for all of us, it, it's it's the time of year for us to be thankful. Mm -hmm. You know, Thanksgiving coming up. Yeah. But like, what we're saying tonight is uh, 
it's time to just stop and be thankful. Yeah. You know, we can get so caught up in stuff and even so driven yeah. and things like that. And stuff can happen that we, we forget the value of the yeah. people that are around us in our life. Yeah. We really need to stop and pause and appreciate them. You know, I was getting ready tonight, looking over some things. I endeavored to invite everybody on my, all my Facebook friends to view this tonight. And I was just going through the list of them and, and I saw some names and I just, uh, I just want to say, I'm thinking of all you, you ladies out there who've lost your husbands this year. And, mm -hmm. and here we are talking about being thankful for our spouses and the significant people in our lives. And for some of you, this is the season, first season, first holiday season you'll be going through with it, with now uh, single again. And mm -hmm. uh, we love you and we're thinking of you. We're praying for you. We want I wanted you to know that, yeah. that we realize you're out there. Let's hey, nicely thankful. posted. Hey, look at that. Thankful for Michael for being a good partner in raising our kids. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. That's so important. Wow. So important. You have a lot to be thankful for. Yeah, salutes to you, Michael. Where to yeah. go, Dad? Way, Way to, to go. go. Way to go. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Uh, okay, here's my list again. I'm thankful that my husband likes coffee, too. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good deal. Because <laughs> we can enjoy that together. Yeah. <laughs> and we do yep. often. He, he almost, <laughs> almost every morning, he brings me a cup of coffee. Uh, I'm not a real morning person, so it's a super blessing. Sometimes if it's our day off, I'll make it. But usually on days that we're going to work, he makes the coffee because he's an early right. riser, brings it in. And I really appreciate that. And just appreciate that we can just share that. It's a little something to share in our life. Yeah, I love, I love doing it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I yeah. Love, here love Michael posted it. again. I'm thankful that Nicena is a wonderful and patient mother, a great example. Wow. Yeah, I like yes, that. Yes, she is. Yeah, very yeah. good. Thank you, Michael. And man, I, I see comes back with, yes, yes Mike's make, make my coffee every day. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. So you guys drink it black or with cream and sugar? How do you how do you do your coffee? But while you're posting, how about some of the rest of you? What do you appreciate about, uh, what are you thankful for yeah. with your with your spouse? You know, we, we this is good practice for us too. Yeah. To stop and pause and and really get these juices uh, going up here and really stop and think about it. Ah, Mike's black. likes it black. You know, I was reading a book one time on relationship. It must have been on marriage, and this person was talking about making a list of things that you're thankful for. And it was funny because it was saying, you know, sometimes you go through those seasons in your life and you're on a on a not so blissful state, you know, and you're going through tough times and. So you might be thinking, I don't know anything to be thankful for. I don't have any, you know, what am I going to be thankful for? You're feeling so bad about your spouse or something. And she said, well, if nothing else, you know, you can put in there, I'm thankful my husband is not a drug addict. I'm thankful my husband's not <laughs> yeah. in prison. Yeah. You know, I'm thankful, you know, just simple things like that. I'm thankful he gets up every day. I'm thankful he goes to work every day. There you I'm go. thankful he wears clothes around the house. You know, yeah, I'm you could have a real bum that didn't go to work, <laughs> lived off of you. And uh, ran around his underwear all yeah, day Yeah, sometimes our standards are so high yeah. that we don't even thank God for like the big stuff like that. Like, yeah. thank you for not being a drug addict yeah. and being, you know, in prison for dealing yeah. drugs or something. Yeah. So that's some people's reality. It is. It is. They, they don't know where they're, they're going to. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You so, know, Sheila says that she appreciates no, me. No, Randy says. Oh, Randy says that Sheila says. Does she, she appreciate me spending quality time with her? Wonderful. That's what she appreciates. Okay. Michael, you're good at this. I'm thankful to God that he has brought Nicena into my life. I've been blessed. You oh, have. Oh, man, you have. She is a treasure. You know, so I heard of a guy. Cool. It's just a little whimsical thing here. I heard of a guy, uh, actually a gal. The, the man and wife went to the doctor because the husband had to see the physician. And the doctor came out into the waiting room after examining the guy and said to the wife, ma'am, I just don't like the way your husband looks. And her response was, I don't either, but he's a good provider for me and the children. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful for the way Joy takes care of herself, for, for the style 
that she brings to our whole family and our whole house and everything. Oh, thanks, babe. Thanks. It's wonderful. <laughs> so stir up your thankfulness. Yeah. You know? What are you thankful for? Be, begin to express it. Yeah. Express it to it's one It's such another. a good, it is so good to actually do it, to be specific uh, for your particular, yeah. that person in your life. Everybody likes to be appreciated for who they yeah. are. You know, something specific about them rather than just general, you know. So it's just really, hi, Evie. Hi. Um, it's just really powerful. And not only, it, what we started out talking about is just empower, is powerful for you, for your yeah. mind, for your attitude, yeah. for you to be thankful, be thankful for something about your spouse. But also to tell them that's a whole nother level yes. of, of blessing. Yeah, it will help you. Again, like Jeremiah said in uh, Lamentations 3.21, this I recall to mind, therefore I have hope. Mm -hmm. You know, that as we recall the right things to mind, it stirs up that well on the inside of us. You know, something else I'm thankful for is that when you received the Lord, you really became a new creature. <laughs> she really did. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, if any man be in Christ, any person's in Christ, they're a new creation. I'm telling you, when she received Christ, she became a new person and, and walks it out every day. Has walked with the Lord every day, seeking Him and well, hearing from Him. Well, uh, probably, I mean, you're, you became born again too, but he was raised in a religious, uh, a religious home, a, yeah. a Christian home, you know, so he knew about the Lord and he had some values and morals that were kind of under that. And I didn't really grow up in church, so... When I got born again, it was kind of a drastic change. <laughs> and I'm super thankful to know the Lord, to know yeah. that he has a purpose for my life, that he has direction for me. And I'm not just wallowing in the in yeah. the what ifs of life, you know, yeah. purposely going around. I'm very thankful for the Lord. <laughs> so God. anyway, that's that's You're such nice an absorber. Thank it's you. wonderful. Yeah, wonderful. I'm thankful that he loves our family. And I hear something about him. I'm thankful that he likes to learn before he acts. Hmm. Like if, I, maybe I shared this you, with you before, but like we were needing a vacuum cleaner one time and I was ready to run to Target and get one. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not before we research online and find out which is the best vacuum. <laughs> I found the top vacuum cleaner in the nation, the top value vacuum cleaner. We bought two of them. <laughs> And so sometimes he slows me down with that, but in the end, it's a good thing. And Randy said, I'm thankful for Sheila being a prayer warrior yes, in amen. touch with the Holy Spirit. Yes, yes, yeah, so beautiful. Is. That's wonderful. Yeah. That's very cool. And let's see. I'm thankful that you love the Lord. Thank you. Because that brings us, we're in unity in that. A Kirby? Well, no. And right. I think the postings about those <laughs> vacuums were put on by the persons, by the people selling the vacuum. They I think it up... was a commie pod. It was Russian <laughs> interference. Deep state. It was a deep state. No, um, they... Uh, Uber hacked. Because they weren't that great of vacuums. But the reason we bought not... two was the house we lived in at the time was a quad level. And so yeah. rather than drag the vacuum down four levels, we kept them on different levels. So. <laughs> we did have a Kirby one we time when we Kirby were first married. <laughs> yeah, the salesman came around. We took out a, a loan at a car, at a, at a loan shark place. Well, by the time we added, and we were so young. That's another story. Were, it wasn't that a was, loan shark, but the no. interest was high. Yeah, it was, a, I don't even remember what they call it. Well, a Those finance, kinds of finance company. company. Finance company. By the time we got all done, that was a thousand dollar vacuum. <laughs> <laughs> Back in the day. Back in the day, wow. weighed eighty pounds. It did, I think. It did last Ooh, forever, though. Yeah, it it really lasts did. a long time. So. Kirby's got a lot of benefits. I better watch it. I get in trouble here. They still sell them, I guess. Yeah, let's think on good things. Yeah. So another thing that I'm thankful for is that you're a hard worker. He's a hard worker. So no matter what project he's into, he doesn't just be like, "Oh, this is hard. I'm going to quit." He keeps at it. He might sweat a little bit. He might grunt and groan a strain a little bit. You know, not that you're not strong, but some jobs are hard. And but he's a hard worker, and so he he compl he does it like he's not going to quit. He's going to do it even if it's yeah. hard. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that. 
So if I stop, you can stop and think about some things. You know, I, I like that. You know, it's not a drug addict. <laughs> right. So you think about You're not a lot in prison, of things. Thank you know? God. You know. Yeah. You know, just all those things that uh, that we can stop and appreciate about. Yeah. You don't and, rail on me. You don't yeah. hit me, which I can't even imagine that. But it's yeah. true. You don't. So, I and mean, that's some people's reality. And so. And. And if nothing else, if you've got a spouse. It, you don't have to come home alone. You don't have to come home to an empty right. house. Right. Uh, I know people have shared with me in, in recent weeks that, that have just gone through a loss of their spouse. They're adjusting to being alone in, in the home. And man, at the bare minimum, at the bare minimum, we can thank God and and thank each other for being there. That we, yeah. you know, be thankful. Yeah. Be thankful. That we have somebody. I mean, there's people yeah. even all throughout the church, all throughout communities that, man, they would love to have somebody that that loved them, was there with them and for them. Man, just, yeah. yeah. So, so if you are single, if you are alone, then uh, the way this particular podcast or broadcast would affect you would be just be thankful for the relationships yeah. that you do have. Yeah. And uh, begin to thank God for those and just think about the things that you're thankful for, for your family and uh, the people, your friendships, the people that are in your life. And it'll help your attitude too because sometimes friends let you down. Sometimes they yeah. don't live up to your all your expectations and our families too. But if we think about what we're thankful for, for them in their life, about them, that helps our attitude and helps us to love them even more. Brandy says he had a drug problem. His dad drug him to church, drug him to work, drug him to school. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be thankful for those people that are in your life. Be, be thankful that you had a dad, Randy. We're thankful your dad drug you to <laughs> church yeah, we and are. drug you to school. Well, we're real thankful. <laughs> yeah. Let's, let's appreciate those that God has in our lives. Yeah. You know, let's, let's get a grip and yeah. think on those good things. Yeah. And be in... Th and, Praise the Lord. We'll have, the, have the joy of the Lord. Hey, we love you guys. We do. We trust this has been a blessing to you tonight. Thank you so much for chatting it up and sharing. Thank and, you. Yeah, uh, thanks for sharing. For I really appreciate that. Having a conversation with us there in the chat line. I know some of you are having watch parties, and we don't get to see the comments mm -hmm. from those because yeah. of the way the technology works. But uh, chat it up with you guys and family members and such. What are you thankful for? Yeah. And... Uh, and we're thankful for you. So thanks yeah. for joining in. And uh, we'll have something for you next week. Yeah. And uh, see you then. Have a great week. Have a great week. Bye now.